the second horseman. Another horse went forth bright red, and to the one sitting on it to him was granted to take the peace from the earth, and that they will slay one another, and a great sword was given to him. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. The second horseman takes peace from the earth. If we are to correctly understand the action and its fulfillment, we must make sure we correctly understand what peace means. Looking at definitions of peace, as it is used in our context. The state prevailing during the absence of war, or threat of war. Harmonious relations, absence of disputes and strife. The absence of disturbing thoughts or emotions, fear, guilt, jealousy, frustration, despair, distrust, etc. While it is not reflected in these definitions, peace is more than the absence of adverse conditions. Peace is not only the lack of external conflict and hostility, but also the presence of an inner sense of well-being, security, and wholeness. Peace is also the presence of wholeness in being and relations. We see the difference when we look at how peace is used in the biblical context. In his book, Not the Way It's Supposed to Be, Cornelius Plantinga, Jr. writes, The webbing together of God, humans, and all creation in justice, fulfillment, and delight is what the Hebrew prophets call shalom. We call it peace, but it means far more than mere peace of mind or a ceasefire between enemies. In the Bible, shalom means universal flourishing, wholeness, and delight, a rich state of affairs in which natural needs are satisfied and natural gifts fruitfully employed, a state of affairs that inspires joyful wonder as its creator and savior opens doors and welcomes creatures in whom he delights. The biblical use of peace includes the use in our context and provides a more complete understanding of what peace is. Has peace been taken from the earth? Yes, peace was taken from the earth by Satan when he caused Adam and Eve to sin. Do people kill one another? The horseman works to cause people to kill one another. Yes. People have killed one another since Cain killed Abel. Satan is responsible for this too. The thief comes only that he might steal and might kill and might destroy. John chapter 10 verse 10. You are of your father the devil, and you desire to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, John chapter 8 verse 44. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, John chapter 13 verse 2. Does the symbolic color red help us better identify the horseman? He rides a red horse. Red is used in scripture to represent sin. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow, though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Red is also the color of Satan, portrayed as a seven-headed dragon in Revelation chapter 12. Another sign appeared in heaven, behold a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and on his head seven diadems. Now war arose in heaven. Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. Revelation chapter 12 verse 3 and verses 7 to 9. Does the symbolic sword help us identify the second horseman? Jesus uses the term sword and explains his meaning. It is the opposite of peace. Do not think that I came to bring peace to the earth, I came not to bring peace but a sword. For I came to set at variance a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and the enemies of the man are his own household. Matthew chapter 10 verses 34 to 36. The second horseman is given a great sword. He causes great division and conflict in the earth. The second horseman is Satan. No one has taken peace from the earth, caused people to kill one another, and caused conflict in the earth like Satan has.